Game of Learners 2022. The program was developed to enhance digital and coding skills amongst university students in Africa. Powered by Microsoft's Africa Development Center, Game of Learners is run in the form of a hackathon and engages directly with students across Africa, regardless of their higher learning institution. This season has 40 undergraduate students drawn from Kenya, Uganda, Rwanda, and South Africa. The main objective is to establish a fun, hands-on learning experience and to empower participating students to develop positive solutions that impact their communities. Game of Learners, building products that address Africa's pressing challenges. Coming up, the teams have chosen creative and meaningful names that represent the collective ambitions they have for this competition. Let's get an insight into what some of these names mean. I'm Piriti Jangaya. I'm part of uh, Team Green Wavers in this uh, Season 3 Game of Learners. We are like the flag bearers of the green fields. The way the trees are green, the grass are green, and anything green. So like we are waving the, the flag of anything green, yeah. Um, my name is Natasha Waibera. Um, I come from the Elite team. We came up with the name Team Elite because um, elite means um, powerful people. So we came up with that name in terms of we thought we are powerful people enough to impact the world in a better way and to also be able to impact uh, climate change in a positive way. Let's learn more about how the teams develop their collaboration processes, which sometimes involves making challenging sacrifices. The things we are doing here, most of it is uh, new, because uh, our solution involves uh, using custom vision and most of us don't really, haven't like used custom vision before. So it's a learning curve for all of us, even for those who are already in, in IT. So some of the challenges that we are facing is trying to multitask the competition with our studies. If you're given a task, you want to finish up the task at the same time, you want also to read for maybe a test that may be coming up. Some meetings may clash at the same time with that with that, with that study. From whenever I wake up to midday, that is the time for classwork and schoolwork. But from uh, 2 p.m. onwards, that is the time for the competition. So anything related to competition, I do it then. I've been able to balance through sleepless nights, unfortunately. Actually, when the season began, I was doing my examinations, so I, I barely had any sleep, but you know, it's for the good. And I think for now, um, I'm able to balance better because now examinations are over. The fact that we are from different countries, so we kind of like have like different timelines, and also, so that, that, that makes it different, difficult because sometimes we are free, they are not free. But I think uh, we've, we've set, we've found like a routine of how to you know, navigate about it. Let's get a glimpse into what some of these solutions are starting to look like. So our solution is about, uh, is a tree planting competition. So basically we are just uh, encouraging people to plant trees. How are we doing that? We, we are building an application. So it will be like a website where people can log in and join the competition. So when you join the competition, you take a picture of the tree that you have planted, of trees that you have planted, and then you upload that image, and then um, object detection will take up on that image and then count the number of trees that are on that image, and then put it under your name. So the person who has like the highest number of uh, trees is the winner. We have introduced this in incentive of a prize to make it so that others can, you know, if they want the prize, then they have to plant the trees. So the environment benefits, and they also benefit by getting whichever prize that we will set. We came up with um, energy conservation system, but we thought um, it's already been done. So we thought, why not be more innovative and think outside the box? So right now we are working on um, energy theft system, where we are able to detect energy being stolen from your surrounding. Um, so that we can also be able to conserve the energy that's being stolen and also through this we are able to actually capture those thieves and conserve the energy that they are consuming from other people so that we are able to also impact the climate change. As we 
go through this whole theme of climate change, trying to find a way of reducing the effects, it's actually going to be something that if we try to get a solution that actually that that will be able to affect the masses in a wide in, in a positive way, we can be able to reduce it and actually help improve our our livelihood. In the five-week incubation process, the participants are mentored and upskilled by Microsoft. Game of Learners is invested in nurturing the future of the metaverse, and the youth are the drivers of this technology. And in this process, the coaches play an integral role in ensuring the participants navigate difficult emotions, team dynamics, and technical challenges. It's important to have someone to always remind you of your why, because sometimes you get, uh, you fall in love with your solution and you have so many ideas that you want to implement and then you lose, you end up losing your way. So having a coach to remind you uh, that this is why you're doing this and uh, not let you go astray. It gives you as a team the freedom to be creative. It allows you to be able to try out new ideas and be able to fail in in, in, in the case for, in, during your ideation phase, you are able to come up with new ideas and bounce them off someone who can guide you and give you like pointers on how to go about it. It's been interesting getting to know the students, their goals, their ambitions, and what they're trying to achieve. As a coach, I contribute design and user experience expertise to the team that is constantly reminding them to always think of the user when they're coming up with their solutions. Game of Learners is a platform committed to seeing technology development transfer into scalable solutions targeting the core issues exacerbating the climate crisis on the African continent. This season's theme on climate change is actually a very key theme generally in the world over and seeing young people come together and coming up with solutions that are tailored towards enabling climate policies that have been put in place in climate uh, in, in, and ensuring that we have proper uh, climate and environmental uh, changes is really, it's, it's, it's really good. It's about time that we start uh, thinking about this and coming up with solutions that address this problem. I think that it's important for uh, young people today to build solutions that will address this problem that will most likely affect them in the future as well. It's important for us young people to actually be able to make this change. I mean, it starts with us. So if we're able to impact these changes right now, the generations to come are able to experience better climatic conditions and have a better living. The majority of people really don't know at climate changes and majority of them don't actually mind more a lot about it. So that's what actually geared us on the on decision to help people take part in it and in, in, engage them in order for them to you know, have a have an impact. We have like witnessed a lot of like things going on. There is like fire in some country, there is flood. Even here in Nairobi we have seen floods. There is the problem with pollution of the environment. There's a problem of cutting down trees. There's a problem of more um, greenhouse gases on the environment. So we really need to find solutions. And uh, it's not one person's uh, responsibility, it's everyone's responsibility, even those people who are in tech. Seeing all the stakeholders coming together and giving a guideline to the young people who are really energetic and really creative is really uh, something that I'm looking forward to see the results because as it is right now, most young people are hungry for change and looking for ways in which they can make an impact. Game of Learners strives to build a space where competing teams are supported to think creatively, innovatively and in collaboration with each other. And most importantly, Game of Learners is about encouraging participants to think of themselves as global citizens and agents for change in their local communities. There are a lot of opportunities in IT right now that are being created from developing of new companies, developing of new uh, ideas and entrepreneurs are coming up with new products. We also have uh, the IT uh, education is being inculcated into the students from a very uh, early age. 
we have programs which are tackling children who are really young. We have programs which are tailored for high school kids and university kids. We have programs which are actually tailored for people who are already working and they're not necessarily in IT. So we do have a lot of resources to mold like the next developers and software engineers. The future for IT in Kenya is going to adva advance uh, significantly uh, with thanks to companies like Microsoft investing in the African talent uh, and giving them exposure to knowledge and resources that enables them to build solutions, better solutions, better applications that can compete with uh, applications that come from more developed countries. Uh, and with Game of Learners engaging students and preparing them to be able to produce these better or advanced solutions, I think is a very uh, useful initiative. To all young people out there, whenever you get a chance to join initiatives like Game of Learners, don't uh, hesitate to be an agent of change. Stay tuned for the next episode.